Nicholas back in the house, back in the house, back in the house. House, I am back in. Yes, in my house. Okay, tonight we're going to have some video editors for Linux. Well, not only for Linux, but for other platforms too. And we're going to go through quite a few of them, most of them free software, and a couple of paid ones. And I'll tell you what ones I've used, and what ones I haven't used, and what ones I currently use. Okay, so you ready? I'm not going to show you the install stuff, okay? I'm just going to show you some pages so you can get a gist of it. I've got about five of these installed on my system. Oh, actually, maybe six, actually. I can't remember now. But that's all for New Year. Lots of New Year stuff, okay? And lots of New Year stuff. Anyway, let's get down and get on with it, okay? First, Open Shot, okay? It's multi platform. It's actually got all the bugs fixed now, okay? There was last year, it was awful. There were some terrible problems. And at the moment, there is one problem when you're trying to do the animated titles where you can't get a background to be see-through, okay? Also, a transparent background, okay? But I think they're working on that now. Download it, it's free. Mac, Windows, and Linux. Well, I think it's better on Linux, actually. Apparently, it's not particularly good on Windows. Let me know. I don't know. I don't use Windows. I've not used it for donkeys of the years. I know. I know you're saying. I know. But yeah, it's quite easy. You can trim, slice, animate, audio waveforms, video. There is lots you can do with it, but a lot of it's hidden away. And sometimes some of these effects you could do in Caden Live, to be honest with you. And some of the Caden Live stuff you could be good in Open Shot. So maybe one day they'll go, oh, hang on a minute, let's do Caden Shot or something like that. <laughs> that would be quite an epic video editor for Linux and the open source software world. Okay, next. Of course, is Caden live, okay? Right, it has its idiosyncrasies, but works super fine, does 4K super fine. It does 4K better than OpenShot, okay? A lot better, yeah, a lot better. But there are some still little niggles. When I'm setting it to um, render a 4K video and I set the full 16 cores, right, on my editing software machine, it just doesn't do much, really, to be honest with you. So it needs to be optimised. But there is lots here for you to use. Lots and lots and lots. Can you see that? Like, uh, the things are endless you can do with it. You don't really have to pay for video, video editing software at the end of the day. Okay, You don't have to. It all depends what one you want to use. So next on my list is Shotcut. Right. Shotcut is a different one, okay? If you're going to get it for Linux, please go and get the PPA. Don't, don't get it from Synaptic or your package manager. Get the latest PPA. It's an awful lot better, okay? It takes a bit of getting used to because it's different from the other two I've just said. Quite a bit different. The way it works. This is the thing. Once you get used to a video editing software, you get used to the way it works and you go, oh, I don't want to use that one. Oh, no, I don't want to use it. Sometimes it's a really good idea to do this. When I first got my 4K cameras, this is what I started to use it on because the others couldn't render it very well. Not at all. But Shotcut went, poof, hear me now. I can do it, man. Yeah, that's what it just done it. Free to download, cross-platform, okay? Cross-platform. So I'm saying to it, cross-platform. I'm not being... Uh, it's Christmas. I'm being nice to Mac and Windows users as well. Yeah, I'm really good, aren't I? I know. Next... Right, I've not used Pit TV for a very long, very, very, very long time, okay? But apparently it's really, really good now. So what I might actually do is actually download it and give it a go and see what goes. And we'll do a video on that in New Year. Yeah. God. My God, my, my list for the New Year is getting really, really long now, I know. So if we go to Get It, we'll just have a look, okay? Pre-built, distro agnostic packages. So I imagine... It's could not be for Windows, is it? Ooh. Oh, we can get a flat pack. Oh, so you can get a flat pack for Pit TV. Well, if, if you like flat packs, get it that way. If not, do it the other way around, PBA. Next, right. When I first started doing videos for the internet, not just for YouTube, was 2005, 2006. I used a different platform at the time because I was rubbish, to be honest. And I was just learning how to do stuff because I had no idea. I didn't know. No idea whatsoever. I come from a music background, but music doesn't mean to say you can do videos, does it? You know what I'm saying? Okay. 
I was also a chef at the same time, but hey, who knows? You can still use it today. I might download it for you all again, and we'll give it a go and see how it works out. That might... Oh, another one to my list. Da -ding! Alexa, add Avid Emacs to my list. Uh, see, she didn't know her. You're rubbish! Oh. Oh, it was going oh, so well with... Oh. Anyway, Blender, and you're saying, you have a Blender, not for video, really. Yes, it is. You can render all your videos in Blender. Now, if you really want to use Blender, you're going to have to take a month off. Okay. And then you go and see Chris. Films by Chris. Yeah, yeah. I think it's Chris Acapucci. I can't remember his last name, actually. But if you want to know anything, go and see stuff. He can show you how to do anything in this. And there are lots of other people who have used Blender for rendering and stuff like that. But it's also for making movies, okay? If any of you have not seen a film called Sintel, it's made entirely in Blender, okay? In Blender. I'll leave the link below. Fantastic film. My kids at school loved it. We've done it for end of term. It was fantastic. <gasps> yeah. Next. Cinderella. Cinderella. Not a fella, but a girl DJ. No, it's not a girl DJ. It's video editing software, okay? It's been around for a really, really long time. I know I've not used it since about 2009. And apparently, according to this, it's come on no way, ends and bounds. So, is it cross-platform? Oh, and it now has a 4K. We've got resolution, okay? So, if I go to download, okay? I'll have a look. Oh, blimey. So, what can we get? So, look. Uh, documentation, blah, 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 blah. Download, source code for Ubuntu. It doesn't seem to be available for other platforms. But, hey. Yeah, it's one of those things, isn't it? Windows stuff I can't use. Ha, <laughs> ha. Back at ya. Oh, no, Sam. Right, next one. I have done a video on this one years ago, years and years ago, on a, a single core machine, actually. This is Lives. Lives is a... If you want to be a VJ and put video to music and everything else, this is the one you want to use. And I did try it for a little while, back in the day, and I'm going back in the day, and it's still going down, it's still being updated. So if you want videos and stuff on your DJ set or VJ set, if you want videos, music, all inter entwined, this is the one for you. I might give it a go. Again, I don't know. Next, we have Flowblade. Okay. Now this one, I rather like. Okay, I rather like. I might start using it in the new year to see how we get on with the new version. Okay. So what's the download? Let's have a look. Deb file, okay. OS repository, Blah. no. Get the latest and greatest. No, get that. Or do the source code. Mm. Windows and OS X are not supported, okay. And you can see why. Once you use the software, I'll be real honest, it's so fast. 4K was blisteringly fast. I couldn't believe it. And it wasn't even maxing out my CPU. Remember, I've got a lot of cores here, man. Yeah, I know. Fantastic stuff. Another one to my list. Alexa, put Flowblade on my shopping list. No, it's easy. Alexa, you're useless. Okay. I think I might have to go back. It doesn't speak proper English. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, next. Right, these are some pay ones. Some pay ones. Okay. Lightworks is utterly fantastic if you can get your head around it, okay? It's very similar to Caden Live, and yes, I have got it on my system, but if you have the freebie, okay, you can't upload to any decent resolution. You have to pay for it to get it. So if we go to the shop, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, Windows, Linux, and Mac. Okay, you can have the monthly license at $14.99. <sighs> Ouch, oh, you're burning, ow, 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 that's burning up. I'm burning me. Okay, I need one activation. But you do get minor updates and major updates, but no packages. But that's like 15 quid a month. I don't, I don't think so. But bearing in mind, you, if you use it for a month or two months and say, that's just not for me, you can just cancel the subscription and that's the end of it. You can get a yearly license on this one with Boris. Now, Boris is a little package of stuff. They, oh, It's only available on Windows 64 and Mac, the free packages. So that wouldn't apply to a Linux user. Okay, But the yearly license, license Oh, actually, they got an offer until the end of the year. Two years for 100 squids. That will be around about $120. You 
you get minor updates and major updates okay 99 squid that's very good the outright license on the other hand isn't very good okay 250 pound but you keep it forever but until you can try it that, that sort of thing you ain't gonna have to like it so maybe go and download it and give it a go and see how your workflow goes through you may like it okay and this is for some other people who use windows at the moment and i think you're going to linux and you're using adobe stuff this might be the thing for you because you're you're paying like 50 quid a month now as it is aren't you as far as i'm aware that's how much it costs okay so 250 quid forever you get minor updates up to 14.5 but no major updates okay but if you have the yearly or two yearly okay you do get a major updates so that's pretty good last but not least DaVinci Resolve. Yes, it is free on Linux, but you can get the pay one. Okay. Now I have tried this, and it's a bit of a pain at the posterior to install. But once you get it installed, it's fantastic. But it's for me, it's far too much. Far too much. I've only got two screens. You need about five here. You really do. If you're really professional, you're using Linux. This is the one to go for. If you want to pay for it. Okay. But you don't have to because all the others have similar sort of features. It all depends what you want to do. It's the thing with Linux. It's what you need for what you want to do. Okay. So we're going to download anyway before we leave. Resolve 14. Resolve 14 Studio. Okay. So if we go to Linux, we'll click there, and see what happens. You have to put all your de details in. Blah 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 blah. That's all the stuff you have to do. Okay. I learned this before. Okay. But yeah, you may like it. So, for those people saying, well, we can't edit video in Linux, what a load of cobblers, basically. And with our best friend, Audacity, what more do you need? You don't actually need nothing else, except like a Threadripper, at least. Actually, no, you don't need a Threadripper. My 59X does it really simply. I've not even used a Threadripper a lot in the past three months, to be honest with you, because I've got the time. But in the new year, we're going to make time to do stuff, okay? do stuff okay hope that helps you if you're doing video editing sneaky the links out i'll see you later bye bye